Timelines are used to show how things have changed over time. They show us the big picture of history rather than just the day to day. Do you know how to make a really good timeline? The basics of timelines are that they read from left to right along a line and that they have markers spaced out evenly. These markers show us how much time has passed. Coming off the line are key labels. These show a date and describe the event that happened. Aside from those basics, there are three things that make a timeline really useful. First, a good timeline shows the history of one place, one society, or one thing. So, if you wanted to make a timeline about the history of the city of Adelaide, you could include the date where women got the right to vote and become members of parliament. It wouldn't make sense, however, to include the date that women in New Zealand got the right to vote. It's really important that you stick to just the one place, one society, or one theme. The second element of a good timeline is the way that time is shown. When you make your timeline, you get to pick the start date and the end date and the spaces of those markers in between. You shouldn't pick dates that are too far apart or are so close together that you can barely fit the information that you need. What you should do is pick dates that fit neatly around the key information that you want to include. Also, make sure that those time markers are spaced out evenly. You can't be skipping one year here and 50 years here. The third thing that makes a really great timeline is the way that you label it. You should only be including key events and all of those need to be correctly dated and correctly labeled. Also, make sure that you're not including too many events or too few. Try not to include minor details or events with less significance but stick to the ones that had key impacts on that history. One last thing, you might come across the terms BC, AD, BCE or CE when you're looking at ancient timelines. These terms mean before Christ, Anno Domini or in the year of our Lord, before common era and common era. It's becoming commonplace today to use BCE and CE because BCE and BC actually refer to the same time period, so do AD and CE. If you're looking at modern timelines though, it's not necessary to put these terms. We know that 1945 means 1945 in the common era. To wrap up, there are three key things that make a really good timeline. The first is having one clear topic that's about one place, one society or one thing. The second is the way that you use time. Set your parameters of your start and end date well, make sure your time markers are spaced evenly and make sure you date your events. The third is only showing key events and excluding those minor details that don't really matter to the story as much. Thank you.